Hi and welcome to the next tutorial. Today we'll be looking at how to create this very simple animation using Adobe Illustrator and After Effects. The techniques are very simple, so let's jump right in. The first thing that you need to do is you need to open up Adobe Illustrator and you need to be able to download some vectors that you can animate. I've chosen this vector because it's got a few things that I can actually animate. For example, like the speech bubble, the lights, the plant, and some people. So once you've opened it up in Adobe Illustrator, you then need to make sure you can go to your layers panel over here. Now, everything is already in the panels and they're all separate, but if you try to import this into Adobe After Effects, it doesn't quite like that they're all part of one group. So what we need to do is we need to basically create new layers for the things that we want to animate. So when you go through this, you can kind of delete the things that you don't need. So for example, I'll just delete that for now. But let's find something simple like uh, the, the light over here. So all I need to do to make this into a new layer is I need to click this button over here, which is called create new layer. And I just need to drag it in there. Okay. And so now this is on a new layer. And I'm just going to go and keep repeating that step and creating all the things that I want to actually animate. So I want the plant to animate. So I'm going to drag that in. Okay, I don't need to animate the bookshelf. I can actually get rid of that one. Uh, the whiteboard, I guess I can get rid of it. Don't need it. The shadows will keep, so we'll keep the rest here. I don't need all the people, so I don't have to uh, use all of them. But the person that I do want to keep, I want to keep this guy, so I will have to find him. And then I'll just make a new layer and drag him into the new layer. So all you have to do is drag him, not under the background, but just one layer before it. So we'll keep the bookshelf the same. And the rest of these people, we will uh, get rid of. Don't need them, don't need them. We'll keep the speech bubbles, or at least one of them. So not that one, and that's it. Now, the the next thing that you can do to try and make this uh, a little bit bigger is that you can change the size of this um, artboard here. So we know that to make a good you know, clip or anything with good quality in Adobe After Effects, you will need to use full HD resolution. And so to change this to full HD, you need to go to artboards and you need to double click on this and you will need to change the resolution to 1920 by 1080. And now when you've done that, the whole thing gets a little bit bigger, but your picture is still quite small in the middle. So what we're going to do is we are just going to highlight all of it and we are just going to hold shift and we we're going to make it a little bit bigger okay so I'm just gonna hold shift to make sure it goes to the ends now anything that is uh, not on the artboard won't really appear so well on uh, Adobe After Effects so the better thing to do is to just grab these you know lamps and then just bring them down just so they all fit on the new artboard and I'm just going to move the table layer up maybe to about there and I'm just going to move the guy up as well so once you're happy with that you will then need to save it so again file save as and once you saved it this uh, window will pop up just press ok and now we can go and open up uh, Adobe After Effects So once in After Effects, it's quite simple to import the Illustrator file. All you need to do is go to File Import. So now I've imported my uh, Adobe Illustrator file and I'm going to import it as a composition and the footage dimensions are going to be the layer size which is going to be 1920 by 1080. So it's going to be full HD. I'm going to press OK there 
and now I've got my stuff over here. All I have to do is just drag it down to the timeline. You can see that it fits nicely to the whole page. All right, and once you double click on this, you then get access to all of those uh, layers that you made in Adobe Illustrator. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to um, rename them by just pressing enter and then just writing like a little bit of what they are. So this one was a plant. Uh, this one was, oh, that's the desk. All right. That one is the bookshelf. We have the person and we have the background. <clears throat> okay. So that's cool. All right. So now we don't need this much time. So really we only need like maybe about four seconds, I guess. So we're just going to bring that in quickly. So the first thing I want to do is I just want to animate the lamps or, or the lights. Okay. So to do this, what you can do is you can go down here and you can go to transform. And what we're going to work on is the position. All right. So now once I've clicked the keyframe, okay, so this button over here, I can now, I can drag it up. So just till it's off screen, and then I can move forward in time, maybe, I don't know, maybe something like that. And I'm just going to bring it back down to where it was. All right, now, I don't want any of that uh, light to be off the screen, so just make sure that there's no gap. Just so now that animation works fine, but it's a bit, you know, like standard. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some ease to it. So if you right click here, go to Keyframe Assistant, and then go to Easy Ease. It now gives it a little bit of a speed ramp, so it kind of accelerates and decelerates. All right. So that's the first animation. So we're going to repeat that for the second lamp. So a shortcut for position is just to press P. All right. And I'm going to do the exact same thing. All right. Press the stopwatch. All right. Move it. I'll move it over slightly, but I will move it up till it's off the screen. Okay, move it forward in time and then bring it down. Okay, and then same thing, I'm going to add the easy ease. Or you can press F9 on your keyboards. Okay, so now I don't want them to be exactly the same, so I'm just going to animate them at separate times. So now I've got one that comes down and then the other. So that's pretty cool so far. The next thing I'm going to do is work on the plant. Okay, so I've got the plant layer over here and I'm going to go to transform and I'm, I want to scale this plant. So if I start at zero and then go to a hundred, that's the animation that I want for the plant. So I'm just gonna move it over slightly all right I'm going to press the stopwatch on scale I'm going to put it at zero and then I'm going to move forward in time probably to about there and then just put it at 100 so that looks pretty cool except I don't want that animation to start from the middle so that circle thing there is the anchor point so we need to move that by clicking this tool, which is called the, the anchor point tool or the pan behind tool. And I'm just going to click and grab and just move it to the bottom of that plant. And again, we can apply easy ease to this. And so now we will have a plant that kind of grows in and there you go. So the last thing that we're going to do is we are going to add some animation to the man and I'm just gonna make him move his hand or make him move around a little bit so what I need to do is I need to go and firstly double click on the person and I need to go up here and I need to click on the puppet position pin tool so if I grab that and if I put a point on his wrist 
and his arm. So now when I move that, I can now start to move him, but his whole body moves. So I'm just going to undo that. So I'm going to put another position um, on this side. So now if I go back, so now I can move that hand just like that. Okay, so now I've got three puppet um, pins on there. And so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to press U on my keyboard and that's going to pick up all of the, um, the pins here. And I know that I need to work on puppet pin number one. So that's this one. But this time I'm going to add an expression. So I'm going to add a wiggle expression. So what I need to do for that is I need to alt, or hold alt and press on the stopwatch. Now I can write my expression. So wiggle, open bracket. And I don't want it to wiggle too much. So I'm going to try with one uh, comma 20. Okay. And once you've done that, I can see that the hand is moving slightly. You know, if you change the values, so let's say for example, I do wiggle 5, 20, you can see that it's a much faster wiggle. So I'm going to keep it at 1, but maybe I'm going to increase the second number to 40. And we'll see what that does. So that, you know, moves it around a little bit more. Anyways, going back to the main animation, when you play it all together, all right, it looks pretty cool because the guy's hand is moving, you've got the lamp that's coming down, you've got the plant that's coming up, and we can add some text in there, in that little speech bubble. So to add text, what we need to do is we need to go new, text, and I'm just going to write hi and I'm going to change the font to black and I'm just going to change the size okay so now I'm going to put that on top of that speech bubble layer it's going to change the font so cool so now I have the word hi and if you want to animate that by changing the opacity, we can, and that's quite simple. All you have to do is go to your high layer. You can go into um, transform and then opacity. So what we're going to do is we are going to go to about two seconds, put it to 100% and then go back to the start and make it zero. So now it's going to kind of fade in. There it says hi. Now the final thing that we can do to this is add some total camera shake to the whole clip. So what we can do for the whole clip is we can add a null value by going to new and then null object. We'll put it right at the top and we'll make all of these layers, we'll make them um, parent to the null layer. Now when on the null layer, what we are going to do is we are going to add an expression for a little bit of wiggle and everything will just move. So again, we go into our position uh, keyframe and we write wiggle. Now we don't want it to wiggle too much. So maybe 0 0.8 and let's try with five and let's see what that looks like. Now it's, it's very subtle, you can't really see it, but if I increase this to, let's say five, you can see that it's uh, definitely shaking. So I'm gonna keep it back at maybe 0 0.8, but just change this to maybe 10. And you can see that that's a slower kind of uh, shake. And that's it. So anyways, guys, Thanks for watching this simple tutorial on how to do a very simple animation using After Effects and Illustrator. And uh, I will see you next time.